Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm Adam, and uh, this is the Starship Simulator tech demo. I uh, I just got a message from one of my old buddies. First time launching it right now. I'm live on Twitch. All right. Ah, uh, the darkness. <laughs> hey, Revan, what's up, man? So, yes, this is Starship Simulator, the tech demo. Um, I have not tried it yet. I am so hopeful. Will this capture the game? Hopefully, Starship Simulator. Huh? Hey, all right. Can you guys hear it? No. Hang on. Uh, hey, Nebulous Clem, what's up, man? Hello. What's up? Hello, hello. I'm trying to fix it so you guys can actually hear the audio when it is does do its thing. That one. There we go. It's a little quiet or a little loud now. Okay. So, so far, it looks really good. I've done nothing but adjust graphics and stuff. Um, the only problem I've had, just barely, is... Oh, wow, I've got, like, everyone popping in. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hey, Telestris, what's up, man? Uh, Nebulous Clem, hello, thank you, welcome. Uh, Waymo3, literally just heard about this on Discord, watched the YouTube trailer and found you looking for a demo live stream. Excited to see this. Nice! Awesome! Yes, so I... I don't know where I found this. I saw it on Steam or heard about it somewhere a couple of years ago, threw it on my wish list, and it was just recommended to me on Discord, and I realized I had a playable demo, and here I am. So, hopefully this works. The only issue I've had so far is that at first my mouse was like freaking out and it was like disappearing randomly. It appears that that's fixed. I don't know what the problem was. I did have some flight controls plugged in, and I unplugged those. Um, for like a different flight simulator game. I unplugged those. I think that might have been like messing with it Like thinking there was a controller plugged in. I don't know But I unplugged those relaunched the game and it seems to be fine. So we'll see now of course like any Potentially difficult game, you know, this is a starship simulator after all um, like any potential uh, Potentially difficult game. We're gonna hop into training modules. I'm just kidding. We're gonna start a new mission right off the bat What are you talking about? Uh Magellan class. Okay. That looks like, um, okay. It kind of looks like, of course, my, my ass has got to relate this to like, um, to like, you know, Star Trek, of course. All the Trekkies are going to be playing this. Um, it kind of looks like, is it a Miranda class? Is that what it is? The one that Khan uses in the Wrath of Khan? The original Wrath of Khan, not the, not the like, cold startup. Okay, launch cold and dark. All right, cool. Is it Miranda class? Hey, did I get it right? Hell yeah. Um, so that's one of the things I literally just commented on the YouTube trailer. I came from the YouTube tra trailer just now as well, Waymo 3. Um, that's one of the things I just commented about was that there doesn't seem to be a proper Star Trek game where you just can do whatever you want with the ship. And they all seem to be really story heavy you know, and the story is okay. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Jessica Louise 11. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, there's not really a game where you can just do whatever you want with the starship, go on whatever mission you want, explore. It all seems to be really heavily scripted. The planets seem to be really generic. You know, it's all, you know, you can't go and click on whatever you want. The closest was like the Star Trek bridge crew VR game, but even that everything was really scripted. Um, like, Star Trek Online was okay, but again, it didn't feel like you had enough of the starship. So, hopefully, we'll see. Miguel in class. All right. Let's hop in. This is my first time ever playing this. I'm super excited. Um, technically, so I will warn you guys, my PC is technically below recommended spec. Recommended is 16 gigs of RAM with a 2080 Ti. I have a 2070 Super, but 32 gigs of RAM. So, I'm also running this off an SSD, so hopefully that'll help as well. Hello. 
Oh, that is that is my shadow. Okay. Do I have? Hang on. I should probably look at my controls. Do I have a flashlight? Toggle walk is left alt. Crouch is left control. Action key is F, of course. Do I have a flashlight? Torch flashlight T. Uh, actually, I might want to. Do I uh, do I have a middle mouse something prebound? I don't. I'm going to change the flashlight actually to middle mouse. Can I can I can I change that? I can't. Okay. Hopefully that'll be. I play Star Citizen. That's plenty for far off proper multi crew exploration gameplay. Yeah. So far it looks like they combined um, No Man's Sky with like a proper Star Trek simulator. So hopefully we'll see the exploration of No Man's Sky, not the like it's going to be literally everything. So I wish you could change controls, but that's okay. We can deal with T. I assume flashlight isn't like something you need all the time. So we're on, okay, we're on the observation meeting. We're, we're at um, meeting room. I'm getting okay FPS. It's not the best ever, but again, I'm below spec. I've got more than enough RAM, but my graphics card is not. It's not shadow res, medium, reflection quality. We'll do, there's not a medium for that. Okay, we'll do... Hi, I guess. Chromatic aberration. Motion blur off. Good. Uh, bloom off as well. Because fuck J.J. Abrams. Oop, did I say that out loud? Uh, reflections quality. I wish there was a medium, but that's fine. Ambient occlusion. Super sane, uh, sampling. Any anti-aliasing. Let's not super sample because that'll again drive my GPU crazy. Shadow quality. Medium as well. Let's see if... That's a little bit better. There's a little bit of screen tearing. Um, hang on. Sorry, guys. I should have done all this beforehand, but, you know, I wanted my first experience to be with you guys. Okay, V-Sync is on now. So, looks like the screen tearing is... Okay, anyway, we're in, um, we're in, like, uh, the meeting room, right? This is the observation lounge or whatever. I forget what they call it in Next Generation. But I recognize what this room is supposed to be. I see that we have an iPad tablet here. F, can I can I click it? I can move it. Oh, did I just flip it over? What? I can't, like, interact with it, it looks like. Maybe I can, but I just don't know how. Um, I thought F was the um, interacting. So maybe I can't do anything with the tablet. Interact with object, left mouse button. Um, and then F was action key. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, sorry, again, I'm pads don't function yet. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so I'm, I know I'm, your guys are like, just play the game. I'm, I'm geeking out already. Okay. Uh, uh, ooh, wait. Customize, I just realized. Customize character. Okay, first name, Adam. Last name, Savage, that is not my real last name, but that's what you guys are going to get. Country, uh, United, fuck, I can't do U.S. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, TM, right? Department, we'll do command for now. Role, captain, that's fine. Um, head, hairstyle. Um, oh, God, I'm gray. Oh, no. That's fine. Beard style. There we go. I wish there was a match hair color click right there, but that's fine. Animation's neutral, that's fine. Face preset, that's fine. Cool. Good enough. Um, okay. Uh, customize ship. Um, organization pre prefix. Ship name, registry number. Oh, geez. What should we name it, guys? Um... United Fox said a group for country origin set in the future. <laughs> uh, United Nations of of super fucks. I don't know. Okay, let's um, I mean, let's go full Star Trek, right? Ship name. We'll go um. What's what's a decent? Let's go with my classic from my old Roblox games. Sorry, guys. I don't know what my registry was back in the day. I don't remember. Um, shit. Um, I don't remember what my registry was. We'll just do like 6088, I guess. Four, first four numbers that came to my mind. Hey! Right? 
Oh, geez. What was this? The turbo lift just went down. I saw that. Is this lift doing what mine used to do in my old freaking Roblox gate days where it just went back and forth? That's hilarious. And there are steps. Okay. All right, we're cold and dark right now, and I have no idea how to... Um, no idea how to um, start this ship. Probably engineering, I would imagine. Um, I don't know. Work in progress lift. Got it. Um, I'm guessing this doesn't go anywhere since it tagged work in progress. Work in progress. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. It's complicated. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, um, this is a bit spooky, actually, being in this, um, oh, geez. This is seven decks. We've got no power frickin' anywhere. F4, quick reference. Helm navigating. That's not, <laughs> that also doesn't help me. All right, well, guys, I guess you guys are going to have to help me start the ship from cold and dark, I guess. Um, and by that, I mean, you're also going to have to tell me literally where to go in every sense of the word. Man, look at that. All right. Graphics are a little low, but again, like I was saying, my computer's a little below spec. If I could afford a PC upgrade, I would. Um, I'm going to be saving for it within the next... All the way down. That's kind of what I figured I had to start doing. I apologize in advance. I'm going to be very clearly like looking around science. I like the plants and things. Science labs. Okay, cool. I'm going to go as quickly as possible through it because I might as well not look in the dark, right? Because it might as well wait for the lights to come on. All right. We're going all the way down, guys. Are we... Deck F engineering. Yes. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna stand right here and face the lift so that you're not like, turn around, go left, go right. I'm like, huh? What? So, okay, I'm gonna face the lift. All right. Or what the where the lift should be. Um, assuming I'm going, like, either around or go right. All right. Am I going that way? Looks like an interesting game. Uh, I've only just been able to properly watch, been lurking first while I saw stuff. Hey, welcome to the stream, and I appreciate it. This is a newer game. Um, this is still an alpha tech demo, so no, not that way. Cool. Okay, this is still an alpha tech demo. Um, so very handy sat nav here, right? Like in one of these, or just all the way to the back. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. Holy shit. That scared the ever-living sh... Uh, go down in there. That scared the shit. I forgot I had a crew. Okay, I guess maybe one of these things, right? No? Uh, sorry, Mr. Telestress is the satnav. Uh, and then leave? What? Go down in there and then leave. What? You mean left? Door other side? Okay, like here? Oh, there's more things. Jesus. Maybe I should have taken an engineering job first. Go right. Okay, that's where I went. Okay. Do I keep going right? Or do I go into, like, one of these guys? On these long pathways, there's, like, a cargo bay? It is. Hey, what's up? Havecon, thank you so much for the follow. There's, there's a room. Okay. Havecon, thank you so much with the control panel on the wall. This one? Internal bus, no load. Startup distributor. Hey, all right. I think I found it. There. <laughs> I like the lowercase e. It just makes me... I'm sorry. I can't read that with the lowercase e without going there. 
Hey, Ben, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome to the chat. Uh, appreciate it. All right. Uh, reactor supply. I'm guessing I connect that. Probably. I would imagine you have to connect the reactor. Yeah. Sorry, I totally went no tutorial because it's the hardest thing ever to do. Turn it all on. Got it. Turn on the reactor. Cool. Uh, F four connect. Just connect everything. He said everything. Oh, boink. Cool. There's little test buttons as well. That's awesome. I like that. All right, we have emergency lighting now. I'm locked in. Oh, you can like passcode lock the door. Start capacitors, open, close. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, it's all on. I like how you can test it all because like, if this is the real thing, you'd like test like everything like an airplane, right? You test everything before you do it. Whole checklist. All right. I love how we have um, emergency lighting power now. That's cool. I like how there's a door lock that I do not have a pin for yet. Oh, okay. I, I like set a pin then I can lock it. Interesting. Okay. Turn it all on. What now? Oh, hello. Okay, I have a whole, like, all right, startup capacitors, engineering control room, uh, cryogenic storage, jeez. Uh, go to the engine room. Okay, engineering control room, right? Or reactor room. You probably mean reactor room. How do I get in? Just basically my first right in here. Yeah, okay. Cool. No power. I can maybe fix that startup or supply well, i don't know what what either of these does or do i go and turn things on still startup distributor startup over here where i clicked it before startup animations maybe There's another guy just standing around. I'm assuming he's going to do a job when I um, start the vacuum pump. Got it. Online. Cool. And then... Some other st oh, shit. High temp. Um, high coil temp. No flow. Insufficient vacuum. Um, help? What's wrong? What'd I do? He's like, here, let me do it, best bitch. The pressure will drop. I don't even see pressure. Coil temperature is probably over here. Temperature. Pressures somewhere. Don't even know where it's... Go to the cryo room, okay. That's like, okay, basically my first, my second left is where I just was in here, okay? Pump, turn these pumps on. Sorry you've heard about art spammers in the chat, uh, in the chat the other day as I've been having the same issues. Tips of having a timer chat message and stuff is really handy. Hey, you're welcome, man. Hopefully it helps. So all pumps and open the valves. All right. Power on. The valve is open. I do believe. And this valve open. Cool. Um, Yeah, no, uh, Nebulous Clem. Thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. Thank you. Uh, power on, open. And then power on, open. All right, that one's doing its thing. Um, more back here. Power on. All those are open. Power on. On the other side as well. Got it. All those are open. Okay. 
Um, oh, there's some valves here. Are there two valves over? Is it mirrored? Yes, it is. Open. Open. Okay. Uh, did I start these? I don't remember. No, I didn't. Okay. On. On. All those valves are open. Okay. Um, I think that's all of them on this floor. Does it go up a floor? It might. I know there's more controls up there, I think, if I remember right. Let's go up there. Um, just to double check. Reactor room. Okay, so I'm not... That's not all I need. Okay, so let's... That is, that is all I need. Okay, let's go to the reactor room. Back from whence we came. All right. Are we at? We're still saying high temp, but okay. Yeah, Nebulous Clam. I really, I really appreciate the kind words. Hopefully, you can, um, hopefully you can combat the problem a little bit. I hope. Open the valves on the reactor. Uh, it's probably like some of these. Uh oh, on the actual reactor. Got you. Open. Uh, open. Open. Uh, yeah, 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 I found it. Thank you. The less stress, you're amazing. A real, a real Jordy LaForge. All right. How are we looking here? Uh, I spent hours learning this. All right, cool. Go to the console. This one? Looks like we're doing way better. Uh, doing this one here. The main console. Or one of the side ones. Looks like they're named, so... Field coil's on. I had a feeling. Boink. Initiate. I need to, like, change one of these values first, or... Initiate. Hey, all right. We got animations. Sweet. That's awesome. Just initiate. Okay. Nice. It sounds very ominous. I like it. Cool, I like it. I like it a lot. Let me start a, um, set a, a timer or alarm here. I do need to, um, work tonight. Switch from startup to supply. Got it. Give me just a second here. Okay. Uh, supply. Okay. Cool, cool. Very nice, very nice. We have um, engineering staff in here doing their things. A bunch of panels are still like off. I wonder if they're for later. Now all the consoles on the wall, make sure all are green. All the consoles want to make sure they go up multiple floors, okay. All are green, you mean like, if it's red like this, I connect them? Is that what you mean? Is that what, is that what you're meaning? Or, um, you're just making sure there's there's no errors. Okay, connect them. Cool. Switching. Cool. PRT should be green. Got it. Okay. So let's do... We don't want start capacitors. We want the PRT. And we want uh, a port aft. Okay. Yeah, that's what it means. I'm going to say no voltage. I don't know what that... Uh, start, uh, yes, start capacitors. Okay. Interesting, no voltage. 
Okay, and then I want to... Oh, okay, I need to connect all of these voltage supplies, yeah? I'm guessing. You said all should be green, so we're gonna... We're gonna turn them all on. Okay, yeah, we're getting all our system. Okay, we're turning on literally everything. Got it, okay. Do we now have to turn all these on? Probably, right? This is, yeah, this is the power to each engine. Uh, port and starboard engines and thrusters. Okay, we need to make sure we have power to all this shit. Got it. Weapons arrays. Okay. Yeah, we're making sure that all this stuff is... I get it now. Okay. Um. Get out of my way, lady. Jesus. Trying to start us up here. Trying to get us underway. God. What a... What a... Um. I don't know, like... A, oh, fuck. Um, uh, um, did we just die? No power? Um, sorry, I forgot the batteries. Shit. Made a better door or window. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, do I need to start up again? No kidding, Ruben. Start up again? Okay. Start up again? Okay. Start that insufficient vacuum. Do I need to go back over to um the coil room? Oops. Cryogenic room. Are all these reset now? Yet. Yeah, they are. They're like completely dead. I don't, um. Do I need to go back to like the startup capacitors as well? Start those up again? No, nope, these are all on. Okay. That's good. Um, the cryogenics still doesn't have power. Uh. I'm not sure what I did. You find just the main generator room uh, right now. Main generator room? Like the reactor room? Or is there like an actual generator room that I need to be going to? Go to the battery room. Okay, that'd be a lot easier if I knew where that was. Um, and the maps are offline because our power is back offline. So, is it somewhere around here? Right. Okay, those are those coils again. Is it, uh, go up one level. Got it. Um... Best way to do that is probably just to go through here. Probably. I guess I could have gone through the reactor room. But okay, up one level. We've done that. This doesn't look like batteries to me. Life support. Oh here, we have we have power here. Uh starboard ba uh battery room one or two. All of these are battery rooms. Jesus, that's hilarious, outer hallway. That's absolutely hilarious that there's bathrooms marked because that's something that was like never mentioned in any of the original Star Treks, yeah? Okay, so these are all the batteries. Okay. Turn all batteries on. Uh, this is connected and they're all saying online. They just all say no charge voltage. Yeah, these are all good. 
These all say online. Okay. Which room was this one? Uh, aft battery room 02. Let's keep going and make sure that they all say that. Yeah, we're good here. All these are fine. Maybe some of them aren't. I'm thinking maybe like maybe half of them are working, half of them aren't. Of course, these all look fine too. Green, 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 green. Yeah, we're all green here. Um, I could also just suck. Um, okay. Yep, all these are good. Um, good here. Main generator level. You are the energy vampire. Apparently, I'm just sucking out all the energy. Main main generator level. Is that like... I don't know where that is. Is that back down one? Or like where I, where I was? Reactor. Gotcha. Had a feeling. Lower level. Okay. Back to the first console. Probably get in through here. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're uh, right. Telestress is pulling the stream. He's the MVP right now. He's carrying me on his back. Is there like build coils offline? High temp, lower level. Can I go down one more? I think I'm... Excuse me. Hmm. Do I need to connect all these back to start up for a minute? So I don't, like, lose all my power? Stop the pump. Okay. All these back to start up. That way I'm not like pulling all... Yeah, I'm not pulling too much power that way. We've missed something in there. Something in the process we missed. I missed or something. Okay. So we have a little bit more power back on now. Not, uh... Overutilizing it all. Start the pump again. Start. Back to the cryo room, maybe? Since I got that flick of the power all coming back on. Are these all back on? Yeah, okay. They're offline. Power on. The valve's already open. Power on, power on, wait till it gets below 10, oops. I didn't do it, I didn't do it, it wasn't me. Okay, what am I waiting to get below 10? Internal pressure. Uh, internal pressure one. Right? It's good now? Okay. It must have been too high and then fixed itself when I, uh, when I left. Okay. We're on, we're on. Open, 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 open. 
You can open the tanks now. Okay. Uh, on. On. Looks like we got plenty of fuel. In all of them. Uh, on. On. All open. Did I forget any of them? I don't think I forgot any of the valves. Okay. Now what? Did we just did I just not wait long enough for the for it to all go back down? X generator room, yep. Back to supply, I think that's what we did now. Unless unless we uh unless that's the part we missed something. Temps will even out on the coils. This coolant loom here. What you're talking about? How oh, they don't say uh, problem with the temperature anymore? Then turn them on. Okay, they're not giving me a warning anymore. So I'm assuming that means we'll give them another couple seconds. It's because we nearly blew ourselves up last time. Totally. To I'm making this way more dramatic than it is. But good to go? Okay. Go. They're turned on. Do we want to initiate or we uh, got to wait for anything else? Because last time I jumped the gun, you're like, no, 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 wait. So, supply. Um, no power. Start up, initiate, and then supply. Wait for the vacuum pressure to go back down. Or internal pressure. Jesus. Gee, okay. Whew. There we go. Then start the field coils. Internal pressure needs to go back down. Oh, vacuum pump is off. Uh, increase percent to 100. Still saying insufficient vacuum. What did I do? I broke it. Oh, I think it fixed itself. Okay. Percent is 100. We got no errors on the screen. We're going to click the button. Smoke test. I think we're all right. 100% usage or 100% number whatever no errors on the screen okay I think I might have done it now do supply switching let's double check all of our valves are open they are I like how we're running off of a glorified car battery down here okay now are we going around the room and turning everything to supply rather than Startup or distributor rather than startup turn everything green Is that what we forgot to turn this all the way up to a hundred? Okay, that's probably what we forgot I'm guessing that means we were running the whole ship at 10% power Is that what that was? And uh, turned everything on and it's like hold your horses there, bud That's all good Connect A <laughs> bad engineer <laughs> But if we're talking of my childhood Roblox days, you were the best engineer. So, head, uh, got to head out, go work in the morning. Hey, man, have a good one. Thank you so much for watching live. Thank you so much for watching the YouTube video. I appreciate you being here, Nebulous Clem. Hopes, uh, hopefully I'll get to see you again sometime. Uh, have a good one.
Oh, geez. We did it again. We should play this together. I would love that. Okay. Um, we got our lights back on. Apparently, for whatever reason, this um, G deck forward doesn't like us at all. This G deck forward really doesn't like us. Screw G deck. <laughs> Apparently. Um. I'm totally down to play this together, uh, Calestris. Totally down. Back to the start. Let's take it back to the start. All right. Totally down to play this together. As soon as I learn how my new starship works. Random guy in a black suit and tie walked up to me. Um, with a bandana around his head, oddly enough. Couldn't see the tops of his ears. And he handed me, um, oddly enough, the key keys that looked like they were to an old Chevy. Um, but it turns out when I clicked the remote button, uh, this ship went pink, pink, and uh, here we are. So, um, you know, can we hop in Discord? Sure. There was a port key that took you on board a starship. Oh dear. All right. Uh, let's, let's check this out. I'm going to assume you're ready, Telestris. Let's go. Let's do this. Hello. What's up, man? How you doing? Can the stream hear? It sounds like maybe they can. Say something. Hello. Hello. How's it going? All right, cool. They can indeed hear you. Uh, Revan, time to Harry Potter ship this world. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think we're up so, to snuff here. There, There is something I'm missing. Okay. I just, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Okay. I remember initiate. So we're going to do, all right, the coils are on, right? Yep, yep. Coils are right. on. Coils are on. Vacuum pumps are on. Are you sure that they're on? They look they're, like they're off. No, it says online. Are you sure? It says well, online. Left real quick. It looks like it's off to me. The the coils, the field coils. It says they're online. Are those on? It says online. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's the fusion system that's offline. Ah, yes, of course. Fusion system. All right, so now we're going to look. Uh, do we stop? No, we don't stop the pump. Uh, initiate. Initiate. So you're going to initiate the, uh, the sequence. Yep. And then we're going to supply. But hold off on starting anything up. We're gonna okay. let the batteries. We're gonna go up and up. check the battery. The batteries. Okay. First. So go up one level to the batteries, and we're gonna see if those are charging. Okay. Interestingly, um, I guess I could have just gone with the stairs in the reactor room. I don't know why I'm taking the long way around, but it'll work do, out. Do whichever one's easier for you. Okay, let's pick a random battery room. This first one is fine, and uh, they are charging, so do we have to wait a little bit maybe for them to start charging up? Uh, hang on, I'm trying to get your stream to catch up. Let me see what they, they are charging. Okay, yeah, just uh, do a quick walk around of all the batteries, just in case. Okay. Because uh, they might sometimes start offline. Healthy charge level. Yeah, let's double check here. Nope, oh, that's... Oh, wait, are they charging? It looks like they're. Like, it's hard to tell because the stream is kind of. Uh, time to depletion. It's they're really sporadic. They're going between like oh. forty-one, seventeen. I know what it is. Okay, so there's corridors underneath. They're like Jeffrey's tubes. Okay. So. Go back down one level. 
Yes, th those ones also need to be turned on. And I'm pretty oh. sure those have to be turned on first. Okay. That... I was wondering what those led to. Where the hell is my door? Hello? Okay, whatever. We're just taking the stairs the stream is like right here. Five seconds behind, so uh, I, can I can't go back down through there. Okay, we're literally just gonna find a door to the reactor room. There we go. And I'm just gonna yeet myself. Uh, hey, all right. Um. Oh, it's so the all the lights aren't on yet. It's so dark. Okay, down here. Yep. So if you go out that door, press. Well, I, I'm sorry. There, there's like. A five minute delay, I forgot. Yeah. Five so I'm standing at an intersection here. There's stairs in yeah. front of me, and then there's like a left side so port. Go left. go left. It doesn't really matter. It just all loops around, but just go okay. left, I guess. And then look for those panels, kind of like what you saw at the beginning. Um, there, I see look. one of them. They look like they're offline, though. Are Is there fine? like a. Um... They have yeah, some kind of plugs, think. but they don't look like they connect to anything. Yeah, hang on a second. I'm trying to think. It's been a it's been a second um my pc uh, is probably struggling just a little bit playing go, this game. go to the generator room again because okay maybe we have to turn everything on on this deck first on g deck so turn everything on g deck on first oh that makes sense turn g deck on first and then go turn everything else yeah. that might make sense let's go double check that everything else is still on startup it's just weird because, you know, when I did this, mm -hmm. I got on the first try. Let's make sure everything else is still on startup. Let's even yeah. disconnect all this extra shit that I turned on to give me the best possible chance. Let's start as if we haven't done anything else yet. Okay. Everything else is off. G deck only. Switch it on. Okay. We did not. Oh. The reactor stopped, but all the lights didn't go off. Can you check it's, the reactor real quick? Can you look at it? Yeah. Uh, the um, console, I mean. Yep, I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. It says no flow, no power, insufficient vacuum, all that. Okay, so we need to turn the pump. Wait, why is the pump off? Go back in the startup. Start up reactor mode, vacuum pump start. All right, wait for the pressure to drop. And, yeah. and the reason why it wasn't like when it would drop, because it's like mega pascals, um, yeah, all the way down to like nano pascals, and it has okay. to go all the way down. Uh, Revan Master, which building in town is the tallest? Uh, the library, because it has the most stories. There you go. Hope you enjoyed your dad joke of the day, Revan Master. Uh, oddly enough, it's... Oh, I have to go back to the um, cryogenic room and switch all of them on because it won't let me start the yeah. fuel pumps because they're... Never mind, they're still, like, off. What the hell? What? How am I supposed to start them if they're, like... Did you initiate the coils first? Um, yeah, what the heck? Everything's saying field coils offline, uh, but I can't uh, start them because of the high temp. But I can't. Right. Can you shut off the load to the... Did you already shut off all the loads to the G deck too? Uh, yeah, hang on. I'm wondering if... Switch that to start up again. Okay, yeah, actually, I bet you now all the cryogenic stuff just came online. Yeah, because it was on the reactor, which wasn't started yet. I'm dumb. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, turn that on. Fuel valves on. Uh, on. Yeah, there they go. Yeah. On. Am I missing some other, like... Yo, I'm trying to think, because I don't remember there being anything else. Man, it's crazy how you skip the tutorial and you struggle. <laughs> first, first words out of my mouth. <laughs> tutorial. Nah, I'm just kidding. Nah. But, the tutorial's for chumps, okay? I didn't even yeah. use the tutorial. Yeah, we'll make it. It'll be fine. I might, you know, have to come back tomorrow. I might, you know, but... We'll, we'll get this thing up on... We'll get this thing up and running. Okay. 
We've still got Trust some me, temp engineer. warnings. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. temp warnings are slowly going away. As soon as those go away, we can start the field coils again. Slowly but surely. I'm wondering if we do have to stop the pump, like once we reach the coils on. Maybe. Okay, no more temp warning. We're going to start the field coils. Okay. Go up to 100%. No warnings. Everything's fine. Okay, initiate. All right, reactor's online. Oh, wait. Don't supply. Okay. So turn everything on first, I, I think. <laughs> I think. Let's start with the hard one first. Let's do G-Deck first. How about that? Okay, but don't supply before you do that. Nope. I'm, we, I'm wondering if everything needs to be... crashed again. G deck just hates us. When I switch over Apparently. from G deck, it just everything dies. What is going on with G deck? I don't know, man. Can you put it back in the startup if you haven't already? Uh, yeah. we're on startup. Uh, vacuum pump is still saying it's started. Field everything still says it's on. Actually, I'm just getting temp warnings. Low flow, low flow, no flow. It's the board. You know, it might be revan master. Yeah. God damn Borg. Simultaneously the best and worst enemy in Star Trek. They were legitimately scary and like terrifying in the first couple episodes they were there. And then everyone's like, overdone. well, their biggest thing was like, oh, they're so powerful because they can think they don't need any one person. And then they invented the Borg Queen. And we're like, wait a second. That doesn't make sense at all for the Borg to have. Why would Absolutely the Borg Queen not. ever be a thing? They're hindering themselves. I mean, I guess if you really think about it, like, ants are a hive mind, but they have a queen. That's true, and I guess there's also, um, if you think about it, their actual, like, first real encounter with humans on a massive scale showed them the Enterprise and the hierarchical structure, so maybe they assimilated that, per se. Mm -hmm. So, who knows? Anyway, okay. Now everything's catching back up because I went and turned back on everything and we're back where we started. We still don't have G-Deck online, but we're back where we started. We just don't have the reactor online. I'm going to put it on 100%. Initiate. Reactor's on. Real quick, okay. let's go check out there in like the Jeffries tubes. Like you were saying, hey, these are on. These are here now. Um, okay, they're there now? These are online. Uh, they okay. all say they're on. I don't know what spare means. Lighting don't one, two. Spare. Let's double check what all these say. Uh, utilities are not connected. But the, all the lighting is. Turn the utilities on. Make sure the utilities are on. Okay. That one's coming on. Okay. A relay just switched. But we don't have. What the fuck? There's a chicken. Oh, yeah, there's a chicken, by the way. What the f... Okay. That's uh, Fred, the um, diplomacy officer on board. I see, okay. Uh, if we have a... Uh, if we have a farming simulator-based and uh, based um, race that we find, we will definitely send the chicken. I mean, hey, you gotta have some poultry on board. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'll take fresh eggs any day. There's also a park on board the ship, too. Ooh, uh, hell yeah. Granted, it's just concrete at this point because they haven't built it yet, but That's, there's a park. Hey. Okay, I think I got them all. It seems to be four of them. Yes, there, there all utilities are, are on there. are consoles next to the doors, too. Okay, let's double check. That one, they're, all, they're on. Let's go double check. This one, utilities on. This one, utilities are on. And, oh, this is the startup generator. This one, utilities are on. Okay. Utilities are all on. Okay, cool. All right, those are all on. Then I think we're good to go <laughs> into the generator room. Right? That would be an interesting planet, uh, Revan Master. I would go there. All right. Should we try the G deck? Uh, or should Let's we try, try switching the to the G deck? Do we switch to supply on the reactor mode first? I, um, I think so. 
Let's try supply first. Okay. Hopefully nothing explodes. Oh. Okay. Explosions, please. Okay, we have everything going. Should we go check batteries real quick? I want to make sure we get this. Yeah, go, go check the batteries. Check the batteries. I turned off all the... That's the difference from last... Oh, duh. I can hang on. I can go upstairs right here. Um... That's the difference from last time. Is last time we checked the batteries, I still had everything set to like use the batteries. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> There's no second floor in that room. Oops. Okay. Uh, last time we set to charge the batteries, I still had everything else like using the batteries. So um, I think that's why they weren't charging properly. Okay, we're getting. Oh no, charge voltage. No charge. That could be part of our problem. Uh, why are they not charging? But they look like they're charging. They're fourteen percent. That could be left over uh, from the other going, time. So, let's try going back down to the generator okay. room. Okay. S no, there's a guy doing something. He's checking on something. And then what we're gonna do is the back consoles. Okay. We're going to initiate those first. Okay. So, sublight distributor, weapons, shields, FTL, battery distributor. Oh, battery. Hey. Is there... Okay. Main battery distributor, external right, feed, and emergency solar. Okay. Reactor so output. Now should we connect should both of these, maybe? I don't think we need external feed, I would no, think. No, we don't have anything external. Maybe. I don't know, turn on. Who knows? Should I go check the batteries again? Yeah, go check the batteries. Make sure they're charging up. Motherfucker, I almost did the same thing. I didn't, but I almost did. Okay, let's see here. Um. Okay. Well, they are charging slowly. They still look a little sporadic, but they are charging. 18.8%. As long as they're charging, it's it's good. It's good to go. Okay. We are charging. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go back down into the generator room. Right. And we're going to start initiating things from G-Deck. We're going to start with G-Deck. That way we don't get all the way the, around, and then it just... Shuts down on us. Right, yeah. Let's uh, get ourselves off the safety lever here. Safety rail. Alright. Mr. Uh, Summer, Mrs. Summer Tyler. Excuse me, I need G-Deck forward, please. Connect, cross your fingers. Ah, uh, nope. Didn't like it. There's something that I'm missing, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. How much did it shut off? Did it just reset the entire system again? Yeah. Oh, good, good. I was worried this would be easy. Yeah, right. Let's um. Not uh, that I don't. Are... Not that I don't trust you, but let's uh. No, no, I understand. Uh. What class is this again? Who knows? It's the only ship in the game. <laughs> That's true. Um, I don't want to. I want like a. I don't want a video. Old start checklist. Is there? No, that's Microsoft Flight Simulator. I guess I will do a video and mute it here because, okay, let's, um, if he's going to the same spot we did and turning on the, the startup distributor. I'm going to go and turn on our pumps here. Um, 
switching to startup on the thing. He's turning on the same ones that I am. Turning on all the valves like you told me. So far we're identical. So far you've gotten it right. It's just a matter of where the heck the difference is. I mean, I can get the fusion reactor started. I just can't apparently keep it stable. Apparently. Wait. Oh, I said they just moved that. Oh, geez, this guy's like. There we go. Oh, He's the main like... batteries. Oh, I forgot about those. So, there's distributors around the entire uh, ship, and they're just like vertical columns of what the other uh, breaker panels kind of look like. It's like okay. a couple of stacks high, and then there's like three in a row. Okay. Probably like, a, I think, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight, about eight high. Those are the things that we have to initiate um... first. Yeah, I've got an actual, like, proper thing in front of me now. Okay. Yeah, I was um, watching the same video probably. Probably. Uh, put that up to... Okay, hit initiate and move up to 100%. That's good. And then switch mode to supply and the bus mode. Reactor mode select. Uh, head to the opposite wall of rec room. The reactor output distributor panel... Go to the main battery distributor and to the left, connect all eight breakers. Main battery distributor, connect all eight breakers. They're all connected. Um, go upstairs to the port battery array. Observe batteries charging. He specifies the port battery array. Uh, so it'll be here ish. Turn right, and it'll be. Wait, hang on. Wait. Port battery, yeah, okay. That was a really weird um, map, like the weirdest orientation pro properly. Okay, observe batteries charging, they are charging. Head to the maintenance tunnels to the two port battery aggregator arrays and hit connect. Maintenance tunnels uh, to the two port battery aggregator arrays. Um, deck distributor, port deck distributor. Is that what he's talking yeah. about? Connect. Okay. I'm guessing I need to continue doing that. Yes. All the way around, probably. I mean, I yeah. Know, uh, go around to three other quadrants and hit connect. That one already says connect. Cool. This one. Already is connected. This one is not connected. So we'll switch that. Connected. Okay. Cool. Jeez, that is shuttle bay or some kind of storage. Okay. Interesting. 
Uh, that's already connected. That's already connected. We were so close. You had me go in these Jeffrey tubes. It was just yeah. uh I, I completely forgot button. about those ones. All right. I'm Switch sorry. On. I'm bad You're engineer. good. Hey. I'll, I'll start training again. I'm going back to the academy to start tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, how often do you really start the starship from cold and dark? Like, you, it's good to know how to do it, but... Okay. Personally, whenever I play this game, I would prefer it this way, because... Right? That makes sense. I think it gives the engineer more to do. Yeah, it gives the whole crew basically a checklist to take care of, right? Yeah. As a captain, it's almost like a fire drill. Like, how quickly can we get the ship online, guys? Come on, let's go. Excuse me, right. lady. You're in my way. Uh, we're all connected now, I believe. Yeah, I think we're all connected now. I'm back to starboard. And then go on the next one. Connected. Connected. I think. I think it's all connected. All right. We're going to say that we did it. All right. I think we did Next. it. Next. Uh, return to the lower floor of the reactor room. And, okay. And we're going to yeet ourselves down again. Of course. Okay. Um, turn to the lower floor reactor room. Find the deck distributor for the forward quadrant. Connect all seven decks. Deck distributor for the forward quadrant. Connect all seven decks. Port quadrant. Um, distributor. G deck. Aft quadrant. Starboard quadrant. I think it's that thing right there. Forward quadrant. Is that what you said, right? Yeah. Forward quadrant. Connect all seven decks. It's really cool how you can hear the relays. Like, that is the actual sound of an electrical relay. That's awesome. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, repeat step 27 for the other three quadrants. Okay. Interesting that he says, I wonder if it matters whether you start with that one or... I would just start with it just in case. <laughs> right? I mean, it always is good to go, like, left to right, then you know you didn't miss anything, so... Yeah. All right, by the time I have to go to work, we might actually have the ship I'm running. Nice. Uh, connect, 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 connect. All right, we're all good. I'm back to start. Uh, find the G-Deck forward quadrant distributor and hit connect. Main light should come. Okay, so this is the part that killed us every previous time. I think connect main light should come on. Cross your fingers. <laughs> oh, thank God. Hey, all right. Uh, repeat step 29 for the other three quadrants. All right. G deck starboard. And then aft and port. All right. Sweet. Go to the upper d upper deck of the reactor room. Repeat quadrant distributor connection for all four quadrants on that deck, and then go to the bridge. All right. Oh man, thank you so much for your help, man. Um, hey, no problem, man. <laughs> like, sweet. When I first did this, as you can tell, it wasn't exactly um, easy. Yeah. To... Yeah, sorry, I kind of no, uh, missed good. some a few steps here and there. That's you know? all right. It it helped us both remember what we're up to. 
Exactly. So, we're, we're, we're both uh, in this hey, together. Hey, what's up, oh, bro? I just got a follow or something, and I can't read it because... Um, hello, all the best for everyone, Transformer666, and uh, welcome. And then I also just had a follow from Mezegis Rigud. Regud? Ragud? Sorry, I totally, hey, totally up, butchered that name. And Transformer, thank you so much. Hey, Intellectress, thank you so much. Everyone oh, yeah, following, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Um, I hope I didn't miss any major... It didn't look hey, like I missed any up, major bro? chats, uh, which is good, because I had my um, checklist covering the stream playback. So, okay. Uh, go to the bridge. Okay. Let's, um... Let's just... Let's just do that. Let's let's go all the way up. Wait, hang on a second. I, so I'm playing mm -hmm. as well, and okay. I'm going through the Jeffrey series. Th those consoles aren't. I don't have those consoles in the Jeffrey series. Are you in the right one? It's the it's uh, the floor with the battery level. Oh, is it the floor? With, oh, okay. Yeah. Already, oh, I see it now. Okay. He said, start with the um, the port ones. I do believe. Yeah. Okay, we are on the bridge. Batter, uh, go for it. And then... Look at a deck distributor engineering alcove of the bridge. It's going to be to the right of the door. Right of the door. Right here. Okay, a deck supply, bridge lighting, and bridge hardware connect. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Oh man, all right. Cool. Sweet. Connect bridge lighting and sweet. That was the full cold cold and dark startup tutorial. All right, I might actually get to to steer us around just a little bit here. I'm also just going to walk in the mysterious uh clouds of the galaxy. All um, right. So, from what I understand, this is actually a 1 to 1 scale. And okay. it really acts like it, too. Okay. So you can jump from, for example, Pluto. Uh -huh. If you were to just try and fly there normally, of course, like you're, you're not going to get anywhere fast, but mm. you can warp. And the, okay. the warp will bring you to a, a much faster speed, of mm. course. But even then, like some of the stars like further on will still take several actual real-life days to get there. Nice. I like that. All right, got to sit in the right seat, of course. Um, can I... I don't have a bridge crew. I can't help but notice. Um, I think it's supposed to be a lot like Pulsar Lost Colony, where you have to okay. have at least the bridge crew to actually operate the ship. Interesting. But you can get AI... Like, you've seen the AI walking around the ship, so... I have. Okay. Very interesting. I have yellow alert and red alert. We're just going to press buttons very interesting yellow alert looks very yellow it's more pink the red alert okay condition normal all right cool cool um tab shows me players online all right cool i guess i'm gonna sit in the helm seat then um i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> all right uh, helm controls. So, you can use the helm controls to direct where the, the ship kind of, you know, sits. Okay. Uh, you can use the WAS keys uh, is for up and down, left and right. Okay. Uh, but there's no, as far as I know, I don't, I haven't really used the helm too much. Um, in order to f uh, actually fly someplace, you actually have to go to the navigation seat. And okay. you have to select a, a, a planet to actually jump to. Transformer planet. 666, you can acquire target with sensors first. Okay. Like that. Okay, I'm in the sensor seat. Uh, select the Uranus as a target and send it to helm. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> All right. Um, target se selected. I don't even know how to... Sorry, this is my first time ever touching this game, Transformer. You click star system. Okay. And then there we go. Now I have tons of options. We're going to select Uranus. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. And then send to Helm. 
Yep. And then once you go, to, when, uh, now you go to Helm, and then you have to uh, accept the destination from the Helm. Um. And I'm still waiting for my stream to catch up. Where the hell even right, is? So it should say, should, ugh, should say use sensor target. Use sensor target, yes. Okay. Yep, and now you should have Uranus selected. And now what you can do is um, select autopilot, which is the auto right side. navigation, yep. and then engage. All right. And, and it's moving. Also... Yep, it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. And you still have to start the engage FTL. Okay. And then, uh, you should max it out. Oh, geez. We're going to go right through the planet Earth. Hey, look at it's that. It's okay. It's not like it's a solid object. That's fair. It doesn't want me to max it out. It's maxing at 55%. Oh, then it will, it will max out to the amount that it needs to jump okay. to that destination. Nice. Oh, this is going to end up being so much fun. He seems like he's working on it. He sounded really confident in his, um, in his YouTube trailer, so... Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I actually... I think that this is going to be a legitimate one from I sure hope at least so. having having donated to Star Citizen and mm -hmm. many other games like that. Uh, I have donated to this game and I really hope it comes to fruition. Right. Within a reasonable amount of time. Um, OK, automatically jumped us out of warp, automatically turned off the autopilot. Sweet. Uh, Transformer 666, thank you so much. Um, all right. Are we? Do we just kind of sit here? I'm assuming that even though there's not much to do in the game, I mean that's fine. Exploring is yeah. still. Um, oh man, my Absolutely. whole thing changed to like. Oh, because can... I switched to navigation for the star system, it put the star system on the. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I love that. I but do. You can, if if you don't want to be in our star system anymore, you can go ahead and say a course for Alpha Centauri if you want. I mean that'd be freaking awesome. How do I even do that? You have to go back to the seat. Yep, I'm uh, in the I'm in the navigation. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then it's gonna off to the left. They have a star cluster or a stellar region. stellar region, and then you alpha have Centuri. galactic position as well. So you want to do stellar region, stellar uh, region, and then, and then Alpha Centauri, and then send yep. to Helm. Yep. And then back to the Helm. I do honestly. When I first looked at the bridge, I'm like, I don't know about this circular thing, but I do kind of like it. Everyone can kind of look at each other. It does make sense for a real starship type thing. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And then I can uh, use sensor target and then engage autopilot. And then engage FTL. And then engage FTL. Build power 100%. Huh? We, yep, okay. Oh, geez, 100%. ETA. But, um, sorry. Oof, you're good. My my computer's making noises at me right now because I have the game up in the background. Man, for this game alone, forget GTA 6. For this game alone, I will upgrade my PC. I... You see, I don't think I can upgrade my PC anymore. <laughs> I mean, I probably could. I, I, I should get another GP, GPU. You, you know, know... Why stop at one when you could have two? Right, exactly. I mean, who says that um, SLI isn't used anymore? Everyone everyone says that. But, you know, that doesn't mean you can't blow another $1,000 on a GPU. It's fine. Yeah, I definitely make enough money to do that. Damn. Definitely. Hey, good for you, man. I'm I make decent money. I'm looking to um hope oh, don't tell my don't tell my employer this. Hopefully no one watching will see this, but um I'm hoping to get a new job by the end of this year. We'll see how it goes. Okay, cool, cool. And cut that recording <laughs> and send. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that much of a surprise to them. Oh, you can see other things go by. Awesome. Gas dwarf, terrestrial planet, planets. Oh, that's awesome. And I yeah, can kind of just... Yeah, everything's kind of like uh, bare. Yeah. And because it's autopilot, I can just go look around the ship now while it's doing its thing. Absolutely, yeah. 
Oh man, this is dark. Is there a light switch in this room? There's not. They haven't said a anything on it, but I'm really chance. hoping that they do add some combat to it. I, I don't yeah. know if they will, but I would really hope that. Oh, they there's do. Alpha Century. Oh, oh man, is it bright? Oh Jesus Christ, that is so bright. Oh my. Work in progress. Armory says Transformer Six Six Six. Yeah. Oh man, is that bright? I yeah. always forget about the delay between that. It shouldn't be too bad, but again, because my PC is probably struggling to do them both, I would imagine that uh, it'll get better if I upgrade my PC. We'll get there. Um, I, I think it's actually a Twitch thing. Uh, it might Twitch be. Twitch actually forces a uh, delay. It does, but um, there's a gaming mode, and then there's a, um, a like, other mode. The gaming mode is, like, um, it's only supposed to be, like, one or two seconds. Oh, okay. And I have it on gaming mode, but again, there's a chance that my PC is just struggling to encode it because it's doing its best, mom. Right. And I'm just barely under recommended spec. It suggests a 2080 Ti, and I've got a 2070. So. Oh, damn. I mean, I think I just upgraded not too long ago from a 2070, so it's not. It functions. Oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, it still works for most games out today, but yeah. some of this newer stuff that's, like, right on the cusp of, of you know, design is yeah. pushing the boundaries. So, but that's all right. I'll I, save I mean, up for honestly, my PC. Honestly, the only reason why I upgraded in the first place wasn't even for video gaming. It was because I, uh, I do rendering on Blender, so. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Interesting you say that, because I've been getting into uh, Parametric CAD. So that's interesting. Basically, the other half of that. Yeah. So that's awesome. All right. Pain to work with, right? Yeah. I tried to learn Blender, but coming from a, a parametric CAD, I was like, mm, I'm not artsy enough for this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. There's nice benches in the back of the bridge, which again, they look out of place at first, and then you realize there's always like some kind of guest on the bridge, some kind of mm. ambassador. They can sit counselor. in the back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that's where the counselor <laughs> goes. So, yeah, I'm guessing that's what this whole station is. Yeah, this whole right side station is going to be tactical. Because there's like a bridge shield button. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. There, there's also a, a list of all the possible jobs that you can get. Okay, um, nice. So, I think it's like... Um, I know you can customize character and I, change your department. Operations, yeah. engineering, tactical, science, medical. You can also be a bartender. That's nice. what they call them in the... Uh, stewards. Stewards, yeah, stewards. Nice. And supposedly there's going to be more coming as well in the future. Hell yeah. Let's, um... This... It's funny that this elevator uses the exact same system that my like 10 year old self used on my starships and roblox down. just have it, it go all the way up all the way down oh yeah there's a ships on roblox. those were fun those i do my time. best i mean again we were we were young we were young. so um i love having 10 forward i guess not 10 forward in this ship it's b forward but it's someplace forward yeah the bar is close to the bridge i like that I mean, so that, that makes that... sense the bar's on b deck and then there's just no shelving or anything, but there's just a bunch of food just laying in a, in a room. That's That makes sense. It's edible. Yeah, it'll be fine. Those donuts look delicious. <laughs> uh, let's just explore for a minute here while I've got a couple extra minutes. Interesting uh, how rooms the... don't all have light switches. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think all the light switches are in engineering. God forbid you'd be able to turn your lights off. Some of them don't even look like they have lights. Interesting. But, I mean, if they don't have uh, any those, purpose, those rooms, then... the, the rooms, like the actual, like, quarters and stuff, they're mm. not complete. That's why they don't have lights or anything. That makes though. sense. Uh, the majority of the ship is not complete, first of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, there's a park on uh, one of the lower decks. Nice. Let's see here. I'm on C deck now. Oceanography? Oh yeah, there's oceanography. Uh, there's, um, there's a bunch of different random stuff in this. It's nice. Really feels Star Trek like. Too. It does. But it's not Star Trek. 
It's a uh, linguistics. It's, it's it's as close to Star Trek as you can get without uh, Paramount and NBC suing your ass. Exactly. Quantum mechanics and astrophysics. Cool, cool. Again, they're all basically placeholder rooms, but it's cool that there is ideas in place for rooms in the ship. Yes, absolutely. Like it, it still feels like a complete ship. It's not. Yeah. Just, it, it just feels like you haven't put the budget into complete. Yeah. All those rooms in the ship. Yeah, yeah it so feels like I should not have left um, orbit around Earth for Alpha Century when um, they very clearly are fine. still being uh, worked on. Did it, they don't arrive till Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to make the same joke. We're in we're in Star Trek Seven Generations, and mm -hmm. everything's uh, let to, yet to be onboarded. I don't know. That movie gets such a bad rap, and I wouldn't say it's an aw as awful as people say it is, but it's not a horrible movie. Everyone gives it such a bad rap. Good. It's a pretty good send off to the previous crew. Yeah. And hello, oh, this is literally just a brick wall. That's funny. I mean, personally, I don't think there was anything wrong with any of them, but I do feel like uh, I was mad about Data dying and then magically coming back later on. Yeah, is this and the then, park you were talking about? Uh, yeah, yes. If where, yes, that is it. I nice. had to wait for the thing to catch up. But yeah. So this supposed to be like an entire garden or something in there once uh, the game's complete. Nice, hey, I'm, I'm down for it. Tons of crew cabins. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Alright, this is going to be awesome. I love his, uh, in the trailer, him saying that, like, and there is definitely going to be some kind of tactical stuff going on. Oh, that's the shuttle bay in the very back. Maybe there's a different part, because that's labeled a shuttle bay. Oh, is it? Yeah. Wait, were you not at the front? Maybe I, I was. The oh, the front <laughs> is the park. There's yeah. a different one very front. Maybe I was in the front. If you go to the shell bay, you can jump out the ship. You know, that's probably not a good idea. I do like the looks of this reactor control system, though. We can go and fuck up all the work we just did trying to get the system online. Let's do that. Where's this reactor control system here? Wait. Isn't that what we were working on the entire time? Oh, huh, what? I or is that something else that you're thinking of? I don't know. Oh, God. I, that I did... Would, I might have just... Hell. What the hell? This might be the shuttle bay. I might have just done it. Uh, there should be a way out. I just don't know where it is. Oh, it's so dark. Where am I? There are stairs that lead to nowhere. This is definitely being worked on. Oh, jeez. Uh, if you press escape... Uh, there's a way to just teleport yourself out. Okay, I, I worked it out, but oh, that's okay. good to know, though. I think I'm back down to... Yeah, I'm about to start getting flashbacks of the whole reactor system shutting down because I'm literally on, yeah, G-Deck. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Can I, like, talk to my crew? I can't yet. Okay. No, the crew is pretty much useless at this point. That's all right. They're just there for... Uh... Moral support. Yeah, sorry. All right. I am super happy to see where this game ends up going in the future. Absolutely. Um, I want to see the life support systems here. Wait, these are I don't think batteries. I was going to say we have... It doesn't look like they are. But that's okay. Unless the doors are like... I think they're on the inner hallway. Yeah, they are. Okay, they're not in yet. Yet. All right. Yeah. TM. Exactly. I think that's what they say in DCS world. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to start getting myself ready for work. Telestras, I super appreciate your help getting us started it's, up here. It's been fun. As always, we will definitely be playing this together, especially when they start... Um, adding more and more functions to the ship. Um, Alright, so uh, Telestris, you have a fantastic day, man. You too. And I will talk have to you later. Bud. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. And to everyone else, um, let me get my cameras here. To everyone else, 
Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel and my Discord and my website, every day is a weekend. So uh, check out all of those more weekend vibes. I've been Adam. You guys have been fantastic. I'll see everybody next time. Next weekend. Bye. Bye, Room. Bye, Transformer 66. Bye, Revan Master. Bye, Teletris. Uh, bye. Uh, uh, who else do I have? Everyone that followed, thank you so much for following. Bye. Bye.